Thanks for staying with us on this edition of Visions. On this segment of Visions, we've got our friend who's back in the studio with us today, Mr. Jamal Thomas, publisher of Gump Town Magazine. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Glad to be back on the show. Hey, glad to have you. you know, of course, you know, a lot's going on. We haven't had a chance to talk to you in a while. And yeah. You've got your first quarter issue. Yes. An yes. edition of Gump Town Magazine. And yes. so uh, you're, here to, you're here to talk about that yeah, today. I am. And, and so we want to we wanna let our viewers know that we want to uh, uh, let them know that it is out and mm -hmm. uh, it is ready for them to pick up. It is. You've got probably how many locations now that they can pick um, up the uh, magazine? Over 200 locations throughout the city, but we have two main locations. One, of course, is Josetti's Cupcakes mm -hmm. on South Decatur Street. And our second location is Patricia's Boutique. She's on Coliseum Boulevard, and that's the Sharon Williams. So okay. you can go there. Okay. Well, it looks it looks fantastic. Thank uh, you. you know, you got a new logo. Let's talk about the, the rebranding. See, what people may not know about you is that you're a marketing specialist. You that's know, right. You know, that's right. You know, college <laughs> business major. ASU, that's right. You know. Alabama State. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, go Hornets. And a uh, marketing degree and uh, a degree with an uh, emphasis on marketing. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I mean, you got your MBA too, by the way. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Just put that in. Oh, also, you're from Cleveland. That's oh, right. Okay, okay. With the Cleveland hustle. That's right. right. Okay. City yeah. of champions. <laughs> that's, right. That's, right. <laughs> that's right. So, so how's this been? I mean, I like it. It, it looks, uh, it looks great. You've been getting a good uh, response and good I, reception. I have, I have. You know, we decided to just to rebrand and become like a community resource network because there are so many um, businesses out there, so many resources that the community needs so many positive things that goes on, but people just don't know. So Gumtown is that platform, Gumtown is that conduit that keeps people connected with the community and businesses. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really good. Now we Thank see you. you, we see you everywhere. Yes, uh, yes. And, uh, and you're, you're getting known for that. I tell people, you know, uh, you can't get there before Gumtown gets you there. You can't, you and, can't. And uh, so we respect that yes. and uh, we really, really like it. Uh, one, of the, one of the recent uh, articles that you had uh, in the magazine was was a project that we kind of worked on together, which was the Serious Injury Law Group, and they yes. did their uh, scholarship essay contest. Yes, yes, they did. They did um, the Serious Injury Law Group. You know, um, Gerald and Chuck, they're um, good friends of mine. They're good attorneys, and they decided to give back to the community, so they decided to have a, a Black History Essay Contest because they operate in 14 counties, and they awarded, I think, about 16,000 in scholarships. So yes, 16 individuals got $1,000 scholarships. They had to write a black history essay contest. So it was, it was just great. Yeah. And we were glad to cover it because, you know, most times you, th you think that attorneys and lawyers just want your money. Right. You don't see them in the community. So we just had to let the people know. Yeah. Well, I was, I was there and I was glad to uh, talk to uh, the attorneys about that. It was really a great event. Yeah. And uh, of course, we talked to attorney uh, James about it too. And so those are the kind of things that. Uh, that uh, you cover uh, in the magazine. Yes, we do. Uh, now we also talked about you are uh, you are graduating from Leadership Montgomery. That is correct. And tell me about that experience. Um, how that's been? I mean, it's a wonderful experience. I mean, just learning so much about Montgomery, learning so much about people from different backgrounds. I mean, it was just a great experience. You think you know about Montgomery, and then when you learn, um, when you meet people, you we come from all different backgrounds of life, and we have more than so much more in common than we think. Yeah. So we graduate tomorrow at uh, Wind Lakes at 6 p.m. Um, Attorney Milton Davis is going to be yeah. the guest speaker. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. I'm just glad, you know, we are the best class ever, I'll class stand. 33. I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. Well, we, we expect you to say that. That's, that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so that, that's the kind of an example of the kind of community work. I mean, what right. I see you at the chamber events. Correct, uh, correct. We saw Congressman uh, Mike, Congressman, who was that we saw? Uh, Mike Rogers. Rogers yeah, yeah, the other day. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and so then I think I saw you with Congresswoman Terry Sewell. The next day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so you're you're out there. I can't get there for you there. I right. mean, if you're not there, I, I feel like something's wrong. Right. Yeah. So so uh, what is it that you want people to know about the vision and the mission of, of, of Gumtown? Um, Gumtown is going to be that um, premier urban business community network. Mm -hmm. You know, if you think about, like, the bigger companies like Wall Street, um, they have their own network, the right. Fortune 500 companies. But what about the smaller businesses? What about the rural communities? We deserve the same right and privilege in this capitalist economy just yeah. to share and exchange resources, mm -hmm. and there's no network. So we need that network to share and exchange resources, and that's our goal. A matter of fact, um, we're expanding in Bullock County. Uh, we just uh, interviewed the probate judge, Judge Tatum in Union Springs. Um, he's doing great things. Every year since 2013, he gives out a Jet Youth Scholarship mm -hmm. 
to graduate in senior, all they have to do to apply is show their letter of acceptance mm -hmm. and their name is pulled from a random drawing and they have a scholarship. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, um, now you do a lot of uh, volunteering. Yes. Uh, what would you say as far as uh, giving advice is the importance of volunteering as far as helping to expand your business and expand your brand because uh, you are also an ambassador with the uh, Montgomery Area Chamber of Commerce. That's correct. Um, service is key. You know, service is key. You know, w dealing in business, I learned is people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing this for the community, I'm doing this for the people. You know, um, I get so many um, reviews from people like, oh my God, I saw this on Facebook Live, I didn't know it was happening. Like, we go to school board meetings, we go to different press conferences, we go to different events, because we know people can't make it. That's and we right. know it's good information that will help them. That's right. um, we're on like the media list for NPS, mm -hmm. um, the media list for MPD, the media list for Crime Stoppers, um, even Beasley Allen sends us press releases. Sure. And you know, they were ranked one of the top, I think, five law firms in the country for um, getting cases dealing with um, Johnson & Johnson. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's great. You know, it's a lot of good things yeah. going on. Well, as you, as you mentioned, the school board meetings, I see you at um, different s uh, school events. I even saw you at the Battle of the Bands. That's you were, right. You were streaming there. Uh, I think that was uh, J.D. versus Selma. The yes, other day. That I mean, that was a great event. I mean, both bands was excellent. And then the good thing about it is I'm thinking about the youth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was on a Friday night. Yeah. Those youth could have been in the streets yeah. getting in all types of trouble, but they were doing something positive. It was a positive event. Um, everyone had fun. There was no fighting, right. no shooting, no violence. It was just a happy, fun occasion. Yeah. And people don't know stuff like that goes on, so we had to put it out there. Well, it's really good. I saw that battle of bands. I've seen you do one. I think uh, JD versus, uh, uh, let's see, JD and Lanier. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we just had uh, Diana Gray on with Montgomery Arts Academy, and we were just yes. talking about the importance of music. That's and, right. And uh, how music uh, helps uh, facilitate learning. Right, right. And to me, I'm, um, I'm a living witness. You know, I was in the band in high school, mm -hmm. and being in the band opened so many doors for me, and that's how I came to Alabama State yeah. to march in the band. I ended up getting a full academic scholarship. Uh. Then right now, I'm a magazine publisher. Wow. I'm an entrepreneur, yeah. you know, yeah. because of the band. Yeah. That's awesome. So, that's awesome. I don't, so the, I, those are the op, that's an example of the opportunity yes. uh, that having music can have in, in yes. a person's life. Yes. That, that's excellent. So, well, you know, now, as far as this magazine and being a publisher, you have basically, you, you, you've been walking the walk, not just talking the talk. That's right. You basically launched this project from scratch. Yes, I did. Uh, and built it and have been branding it yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the advice you would give to a person who has a vision? Uh, for something that they want to do about what kind of stick to you have to have and dedication to get it off the ground and keep it moving uh, um, in spite and in, in spite of the obstacles. You have to believe in yourself and have that faith. You mm -hmm. know, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Mm -hmm. Then you have to like, you know, look at other people. Don't compare yourself to other people, but say like, hey, if they went through it, they started it, I mm -hmm. can too. Mm -hmm. You know, you're no better than the next person. When I think about myself, I say, I'm no, you know, if Sam Walton can do it, right. I can do it. Right. <laughs> you right. know, if Henry Ford can do it, I can do it. Right. If John Johnson can do it, I can do it. Amen. You have to be persistent and consistent. And one thing I learned, you know, people think um, if there's no paycheck attached to it, it's not a good opportunity. You have to go for for the opportunity because you learn and you meet people and you just never know what will happen out of it. So, Amen. Amen. So, so take advantage of opportunities, um, believe in yourself, and be persistent and consistent. Uh -huh. So Okay. It does, it does take faith. Yes. Yeah. Hey, I heard I heard Bishop, our friend Bishop Frederick Hardy. I'm not uh -huh. sure where it came from. He said it takes faith to step out on nothing and believe that something is there. Isn't that good? Ooh, that's every morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's powerful. That's powerful. Now, now on your cover of your on your cover of, the, of this issue, you got uh, Child Protect. That's the Children's Advoca Advocacy Center. Tell us about what's going on with them um, uh, on this issue. They're expanding. Um, mm -hmm. They're um, building a new annex to their facility so they can have more room mm -hmm. because you know we all know. That that child protect, you know, they mm -hmm. help children who deal dealing with trauma situations, maybe mm -hmm. getting abused. They probably seen a parent get abused or somebody get killed or things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they work with uh, DHR and the DZ's AIDS office, but you know, they have to go back and forth so many times. So with that extra annex, you know, mm -hmm. DHR can have their own office in there. The DA's office can have their own office. They're going to build like shower facilities so the children can, you know, bathe themselves. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we just recently had the groundbreaking, I think, about, about a month ago, and um, I'm proud to serve on the junior executive board for the organization. We do a lot of events to raise funds mm -hmm. 
we have the campaign, um, campaign 1989. We're trying to get people to to get young professionals involved. You know, donate. You know, nineteen dollars and eighty nine cent a month for a whole year. Yeah, and we're getting close to our goal. We're we're doing good. That's so. good. That's good. Well, you know, uh, speaking of uh, community events, I think I saw you. Um, on TV, of course, you know you're always on. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're always here at the station, <laughs> in the studio. You know, you know, doing something in the, in the community. Um, your a fraternal organization helped raise some money. I think I saw just you know not that long ago. Oh yeah, the Root of Jesse Masana Glage yeah. 997. Um, we partnered with Valiant Cross Academy. Um, yeah. I mean, we just fell in love with those guys. Yeah, and um, when the first started getting warm, we had a fish fry mm -hmm. and we raised a lot of money and we um, took those proceeds and we um, donated to the uh, to the boys. We bought them some school supplies, um, some hygiene products, you know, socks, deodorants, toothpaste, paper, pens. Uh, before that, um, we bought them some bow ties because okay. you know we understand the need. Yes. And, and I'm just going if if you have a chance, you know, I know you've been there before. Oh, yeah. You know, every morning they go to the village and they do the little um, routine, the Russia routine. It's just amazing uh -huh. okay. seeing those kids. So. Okay, all right, we're gonna go to your website uh, so people can uh, can see uh, how they uh, when they log on to your site there, uh, mm -hmm. they can uh, see all of your all of your information. But one, one of the one of the other things that you uh, do in your in your magazine is do really great articles, and you've got this uh, article on Social Security, and uh, this is Dr. McKinney, yes, uh, who writes that. Give us a little bit about you know some of the kind of articles that he that he writes for you. Well, he is the public affairs so uh, specialist for um, the Social Security for the state of Alabama, mm -hmm. so he sends us articles dealing with Social Security, dealing with re re retirement, you know, planning for Social Security. Um, teach your grandchildren about social security so it's it's very it's very informative very educating you know mm -hmm. it's some things that i learned you know yeah. planning for your R ira because you know we think we know about social security but we don't mm -hmm. you know so many biases about it so many stereotypes but it's really here to help us so. excellent excellent it's great well, I tell you, Ms. Towns, we just, we're just really inspired and I yeah. uh, want to encourage people to pick up a copy. So where do they pick up a copy? Like, they go today, like they see it tonight. Where do, where do, where do you want go to? Go to Josetti's Cupcakes okay. on South Decatur Street, okay. or you can go to Patricia's Boutique on 128 Coliseum Boulevard. She's um, in a, right next door to Sharon Williams, excellent. the paint store. Okay, okay, excellent. Well, Mr. Thomas, we're going we're gonna to break and we're going to invite you to come back again because we always need this great information. Yes. We're very excited. Continue to be inspired by the work that you're doing in our community. Yes. And we want to encourage you to keep that up. And that's going to do it for us on this edition of Visions with Jamal Thomas, publisher of Gumtown Magazine. Uh, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned. We'll see you next time.